Would you please welcome to the desk conservationist, zookeeper, wildlife photographer, superstar, Australian royalty, Robert Owen! Yeah. Yeah. Robert, it is so great to see you. Thank you so much for coming down to join us on the show. Can I just say, I truthfully, our whole family, <laughs> the entire Irwin fam, are the biggest fans of the Cheap Seats. We love you guys. So how good are the Cheap Seats? I mean, this is the best show ever. Look at these guys. Well, you guys are legends. Given hey, we love you. Given our ratings, I know you guys love anything in danger. So <laughs> <laughs> it is great. And likewise, Robert, we, we are massive fans of you. You might have seen Thanks, our showbiz reporter, Mel Trasina, is a yeah. very massive fan of you. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was quite funny backstage. You know, as soon as I, I, I entered the green room, I, I felt like I was home. There's a zebra in the, in the room with me. It was great. It was really nice. But what was funny is we were actually just talking about her wedding backstage before she came out. Yeah. So, but no, I was That date has been annulled. That so that we're we're <laughs> not not she's, legally she's binding her. Yeah. <laughs> and when you great. saw her dressed as a zebra, was the temptation? to jump on her and tackle her. <laughs> Not quite. Tra Not quite. Her. <laughs> Not quite, Not quite fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> it, is, it is great to see you, Rob. We're so glad that you could be on the show. Um, thanks, we know you're really busy at the moment, so thanks for fitting us in. You're working in Australia Zoo, you're travelling around the place. How's everything yeah. going? Oh, mate, it's going great. It's just yeah. flat stick. Flat out like a lizard drinking, you know? It's just <laughs> crazy, yeah, but, you know... I don't, I don't think we can say that at this time slot. <laughs> 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 uh, but, yeah, you know, it's just here, there and everywhere, but what we've got going on, of course, at the zoo itself is... is so busy but you know we we've got so much happening on on the global scale you know wildlife conservation projects from africa to the us southeast asia so we're just always on the go but mate when you do what you love every day you never work a day in your life it's yeah. great I, uh, as a, I wish we knew the feeling <laughs> as, a, as, as an animal expert i have to ask um mm. dogs and shoes where do we where do we sit i think ask the dog <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, speaking, yeah. Of, speaking of animals, exciting news at Australia Zoo because mm. there is there is a brand new animal on the scene. This is the first time I'm actually ever laying eyes on the Irwin's turtle. What makes these guys so incredibly special is the fact that they were originally discovered by my dad. What an honour to be holding a turtle that dad originally discovered. Alsea Irwini. Very, very cool. That is amazing. Oh, that is absolutely oh, beautiful. beautiful. That is yeah, you know, that, that was a a rescue mission that we did because there's there's so many threats that face those turtles out in the wild. They're a very small population that they actually exist, right? So anything from dams to climate change, whatever it is that happens, I mean, in an instant, they could just be wiped out. Yeah. So we went in there, we rescued a select few, brought them back to the zoo to give them safe haven. And uh, they're doing so well. But mm -hmm. it's really what we're all about, you know, for our, our charity and, and everything that we do, but also on a personal level, continuing Dad's message you know, this legacy that he created, not only for wildlife conservation, but also just a love for life itself. Yeah. It is the honour of a lifetime to, to keep that going. Every time I don my car keys, I feel like, you know, I've got a piece of him with me. Well, it's awesome. Mate, you are doing that. Absolutely. Absolutely. You are, you are more than doing that, and you are no Thank doubt you. more than making him proud, mate. You are doing a wonderful job. Appreciate Speaking that. of discovering animals, uh, we mm. also have discovered an animal. I don't know if you saw the rat in our green room, but... Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> If you discover a new breed of giraffe, the Bracewellite, it's a, yes. it's, it's a name that's available, I will say. Noted. <laughs> okay, well, there's lots happening at Australia Zoo. It is exciting times because you've, yeah. you've recently unveiled your luxury cabins at mm -hmm. the Crocodile Hunter Lodge. Can yeah. you tell us a bit about those? Yeah, this is really cool. We've just decided to go full on. You know, we've been wanting to do accommodation for a long time. It was a dream that Dad had, and we were really hemming and hawing exactly what it would look like, but we've decided to create a real luxury, immersive experience at the zoo, surrounded by wildlife. Uh, it's such an awesome spot, the Crocodile Hunter Lodge. We've got the Warrior Restaurant, like, proper fine dining there. Yes, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is there. You guys should come and stay. Yeah. That'd be so much fun. Well, Let's do it. The, yeah. roast, the roast Irwin's turtle is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's a delicacy. It's a delicacy. 
Those play with those tearless onions. It's <laughs> um, but what else can we expect of the Warrior Restaurant? Well, not that. <laughs> um, we can expect a, a lot of... It's, it's really just an, an ode to the local area. We yeah. really prioritise supporting our, our amazing local producers and some, some really cool options. And, yeah, it's just an awesome time. It's, it's kind of funny, actually. We set up the lodge and we've got, you know, kangaroos and emus above our in infinity pool. It's amazing. Yeah. But so many wild animals have come in. So you walk around the grass and there's just kangaroos grazing out the front of your little cabin That's and awesome. kookaburras. It's just... An absolute paradise. I it's always so cool. find that when you go to the zoo and then you see just like a chicken that's roamed and you're like, this isn't your place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pigeons going around like, come on, you know, we're not here to see you. We don't have any chickens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of animals, you are obviously passionate about animals. Yeah. Is there one that you're like, yeah, I'm a little less keen. Um, <laughs> well, it's it's funny. I I will say I love all animals. I absolutely love them to death. There's not an animal that I don't just just love. But there's there are some a, animals. There's, that, there's a big butt coming here. There's, yeah. <laughs> there's some animals that uh, don't love me particularly oh, well. Really? Yeah. I have a thing with wombats actually. Oh. Wombats try to kill me. <laughs> but they don't like. They're not just aggressive. No, they try to kill me. So, really? Yeah, yeah. And mate, give me a crocodile any day. Wombats are crazy. <laughs> They're insane. They can run 40 k's an hour. Oh my god! Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like a, they got teeth like this. It's like a, a school zone. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Wombats. Don't trust a wombat. Yeah. <laughs> well, here first. Before we go, you're a great conservationist. Have you got a message for us before before you go? Is there anything that we can all be doing to, to do oh, better? Mate, well, I, I, you know, I think something that my dad always said, something that will stick with me forever, was treat every living being the way that you wish to be treated. Except wombats. That's it. <laughs> Except wombats, because <laughs> they have a thirst for blood. <laughs> Well, oh, I'm sorry, I was just killing a mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you, head, if you head to Australia Zoo, you might be lucky enough to see Robert at work with the crocs and with all the wonderful animals. Good luck with the luxury escapes. They look absolutely incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please thank Robert Owen? Yeah,